Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. In this video, we are going to fix Windows 10 or Windows 11 pre-installed apps like Microsoft Store or any other pre-install, not the third-party applications which you install. This is a very common problem in Windows 10 and we will be able to fix it. Please make sure you watch the whole video because if one thing doesn't work then we will try second like this. So in this manner we will be trying five very easy and powerful steps to fix this problem. So let's get started. Here we just need to do a right click in the start icon and then go to settings. And once we are in settings we need to go to update and security. And at the left hand side we have troubleshoot. So we just need to click on that. You can also search troubleshoot if you're using Windows 11. And then we need to click on troubleshooters, additional troubleshoot. Now once we are here, we need to scroll down and we need to select Windows Store. And we need to run this troubleshooter. In Windows 10 and Windows 11, the troubleshooter now it's very powerful. It used to be not very much effective in Windows 7 and previous version. But especially in Windows 10 and Windows 11, it really helps and you can try this. Now there could be a possibility that after doing this, this might not work. If it doesn't work, then we will move to the next step. So for that, we will reset the particular app, the pre-installed app which is not working. So for that, we just need to do a right click and then we need to go to settings. And here we need to click on app. Now let's say if Microsoft Edge is not working or Microsoft Store is not working then you just need to click on that and then we need to go to advanced option and here we just need to scroll down and we need to click on reset and we need to click on reset. So if this app isn't working correctly reset it and the app's data will be deleted. Now when I say app's data means whatever the pre whatever you have tried to install and uh, the data which was stored in app will be removed. That doesn't mean whatever the files or folders or videos or music which you have created in the computer that will not be affected. That is something different. So it will not affect that data. So it's only I'm only talking about the app data. So it will actually reset to the factory setting for that particular app only. So once this is done restart the computer and see if it's working or working for you or not. And if it's not, reinstall all the pre-installed apps. So this is a very effective solution because if you try, if you have tried both the steps and if it's not working, then we can pre-install. So I'll tell you a command which I'll give you a command in the description which you can copy, and you just need to do a right-click in the start icon, and here you will see Windows PowerShell Advent. And once you click on that, a new window will appear. It will ask you to say yes. So I'll say. And the moment you do it, you just need to press Control V and this will be pasted and you need to hit enter. So once you do that, you might get some errors. You don't have to worry about it. Let it complete. And once this is done, restart the computer and check if your app is working fine or not and this might take five seven minutes so please be patient so once this is done restart the computer and see if it's working for you or not and if it still doesn't then we will repair and replace the windows files so this will actually refresh the whole windows and repair the windows and we will be using the dism command which is a very effective tool so for that you just need to search cmd and then run as a administrator and I'll click on yes. Now here I'll mention these commands in the description box as well which is dism space forward slash online space forward slash clean up image check health and hit enter. So once you do that it will take it will take a minute or so to complete this process. And then we will do the scan health. The procedure will remain same. We will just paste it right here and we will hit enter. Now this procedure might take some time. So you can leave as it is. And once this is done, move to the third one which says restore health. So I'll just quickly copy it. 
So now we will type the third command which is DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup hyphen image space restore health. So I must I must say this is a very effective way to repair the computer. Even if you do not have any issues, you can do this and this will be actually good for the computer. So this procedure might take 5-7 minutes or more than that. It depends on the computer. And once this is done, restart the computer. See if your app is working fine or not. And if it doesn't, then we will move to the next step. The next step is to run the SFC scan now and the procedure the step will remain same search cmd and then run as administrator and when it asks you to say yes so just click on that and a black screen of command prompt will be opened and we just need to press we just need to type sfc space forward slash scan now and hit enter so the moment you do it the scan will begin and this will also take 5 10 or maybe 15 minutes the SFC stands for System File Checker. So it will check the files, the Windows files especially, and it will try to fix it and repair it. So you can also do that. And then once it is done, restart the computer and see if your app is working fine or not. And the last step, which is very important, which you always need to do by just doing a right click and go to Settings. And once you are in Settings, we need to go to update and security and here we need to click on windows updates so once you click on windows update try to update all the latest updates which you get in the computer please make sure you install all the latest updates in your computer this thing might take some time but this will be good for the stability of your computer stability security and for smoothness you should always update to the latest windows update once this is done restart the computer and if let's say if you still have issues then please let me know in the comment section i'll try my best to fix your problem please hit the like and subscribe i'll see you in the next tutorial have a wonderful day